I wasn't a fighter when I came here, but growing up in that environment, I had to learn how to fight. Um, so I fought a lot over there, got, became good at it. Ahipo Dolei moved to Gainesville when he was 12 years old. Adjusting to a small town combined with the passing of his father led him to the wrong path. That's where all the fighting came from, because I was angry that I wouldn't have a father anymore. And so I was looking for something to belong to. Like Dolei, many young boys growing up in at-risk neighborhoods turned to the streets to find a sense of community. For some, this means joining a gang. Gainesville Police Department says gang violence has gone down, but membership is rising. Uh, definitely within your middle school population, and in some instances, uh, even your elementary is aware of it. According to a report by the Department of Justice, more than 30% of juveniles arrested for a first offense are affiliated with gangs. The Riker House is a youth development program for at-risk juveniles founded in the 80s. Chief Tony Jones helped found it after an alarming presence of violence in the community. Well, they'll cut our tires or they'll egg our houses or they may break a window or something like that. That's when I said that, you know, there's something we need to do uh, because of this activity. And I said, not in Gainesville. This, this will not happen. Today, it's more of an outreach program with more than 200 members. Executive Director John Alexander says the key to outreach is building trust with at-risk kids. You know, going out to the school and just saying, hey man, let me eat lunch with you. Hey man, what's going on? Or, or, or being able to identify or relate to the child first. At Riker, they have a different view of gangs today. Uh, a lot of our young men would not define themselves as gang members. You know, they would say, we are uh, part of a group in a neighborhood. Florida statute defines gangs as a group of people who engage in criminal acts. More concerning in Alachua County are hybrid gangs, groups of people tied to a neighborhood. While gang membership is on the rise, a report from the Department of Justice shows a drop in Gainesville arrests in Alachua County. I think that with everybody working together, uh, we have had some impact. It could have been much more severe than what it is right now. Going into high school, Dolei decided to change his life. Um, I just got tired of fighting and got tired of being around the same people doing the same crazy and silly things. And so. But not all juveniles seek to change their lives, which is why Latrell County Sheriff's Office Sergeant Paul Pardue started the Youth and Community Resource Unit. It also focuses on prevention and outreach with programs like Deputy Youth Dialogue, Teen Corps, and Operation Cone. We can, we can prevent crime by knowing you and getting to know you and getting to know our neighborhood. Aside from the Rikert House, GPD works with the Boys and Girls Club, the Brand Program, and the NAACP to prevent gang activity. Dole E now works for GPD and the Rikert House. He says, you're only a product of the environment when you don't see anything different. I started seeing that the Rikert House program was something that could catapult me out of my neighborhood and into something possibly totally different if I allowed it to. Juliana Musumeci, WUFT News.